Micah. Ready? Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What's the Lord's name? What's the Lord's name? That at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That's the number one message. What's the rest of the message? What's Christmas about? Do you see how hypnotizing this tree is? This tree hypnotizes people. You see the sun at the top of the tree? If you Google what is the birth of the sun god, you will find that December 25th is the celebration of the sun god, S-U-N, S-U-N, sun god, Mithras. Christmas is a pagan holiday. The Bible talks about Christmas trees. It says, do not deck Christmas trees. With, do not cut it and nail it with hammer and nails. Do not deck it with silver and gold. The Lord rejects this pagan idea. This is a completely pagan idea. It's all about the sun. The sun is buried in the tomb on the December 21st, and it raises again from the dead on December 25th, it's because the ancients celebrated the heavens. It's all about celebrating and worshiping creation, worshiping the sun, moon, and the stars. God said, do not worship me in this way. I reject this. God said, I hate, I despise your feasts, says the Lord. I reject this kind of worship. Jesus was not born on this day. It's all about worshiping the sun. In addition to that, it's all about mind sorcery and hypnotism. The way this Christmas tree hypnotizes you when you look at it is the same way that it makes you have control of your mind, the same way NASA has lied to us and told us the wrong kind of cosmology. The Bible does not teach the heliocentric model. The Bible teaches that the sun travels in a circuit and that the earth is stationary. It's all set up to worship Helios, the sun god, the Greek sun god Helios. That's what the heliocentric model is all about. It's all about putting the sun at the center, worshiping the creation, that's why they lied about the Apollo moon landings. They had to give their praise to Apollo, who is also the sun god who was made one with Helios. God said, do not worship me the way the heathen does. I do not accept that worship. I reject your festivals and feasts, says the Lord. What did they do? What did the church do? Constantine and the early church of Rome decided to join Christianity together with paganism and make it one religion. God said, do not worship me the way the pagans and heathens do. That's what Christmas is truly about. It's a pagan day. It's about a false Christ. It's anti-Christ. That's what the heliocentric model is. The Bible teaches a flat and stationary earth. We don't move. We're not going around the sun at 66,600 miles an hour. 666. You see how they put the Antichrist map in the globe? Also, the earth is tilted on 66.6 .6 degrees. They put antichrist beast map in their system so we can recognize it it's all pagan it's all about worshiping the sun which is the light bearer it's a light bearer religion i am not ashamed of what the bible says i am not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ it's the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believes you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Jesus said, I am the truth. Jesus is the truth in a person. Truth is a reflection of his character. Truth matters. Whom the Son sets free, he shall be free indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. There's one way to get to God. There's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. 
He's the only way. If you're looking to get to God, if you're looking to find God, you got to go through Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. All right, we're good. God bless everyone.